I maintain a day-to-day -day practice as an artist by knowing that uh, the making of art is rewarding, but it's not necessarily uh, fun or uh, enjoyable all the time. It's, uh, there's a lot, a lot of hard work. Uh, sometimes I had a discussion a while ago about, you know, the, the amount that luck has, the, you know, the degree to which luck has uh, a part to play in your career. Luck has a very small part to play in it. A lot of it is actually, and I wouldn't go so far as saying drudgery, although occasionally I'll talk about the trench warfare approach to art making when you're working and, you know, my, in my practice, some of the paintings they'll, you know, they take from three months to six months to two years to complete. And, but so along the way, there's a little bit of swearing that goes on in the studio and, and, uh, some days it's just, I don't want to come in here, but you know, you have to, you know, our writers will talk about you sit down at the typewriter and work, or you sit down at the word processor or the laptop and you just work. And similarly in the visual art field, I take what, you know, as a child, I met, uh, A.Y. Jackson. I lived not too far from there. And when he found out that I wanted to be an artist as, uh, in, uh, in in my life, wanted to be. He got very serious, and he just kind of lectured me on how hard it was going to be as an art. Scared the bitch, excuse me, scared me significantly enough that I remember the moment. I can remember his hand around mine, but he was telling me something that I've I've never really lost. Like you, you just have to work it through. And I think to go into this field or or to be involved in this field with the illusion that anything comes easily. Um, you won't have a satisfying engagement with visual art and you'll probably make lousy art, so do something else. <laughs> sounds tough, doesn't it? But, you know, it sounds... Uh, I think staying at it, being consistent, like, like staying at it, I mean, there's, there's always times that you can get in the studio or you and make a lot of art and then there's other times that you can't, but, but to uh, a sustained practice, I think is is really important, and to be out there, be go out to openings. Um, if you're making art, you should be looking at other people's art. You should be interested in what's going on out there uh, to see yourself where your place is in the larger art uh, scene in your city and beyond. So it's important to be out there meeting people, talking to other artists. Um, meeting curators, all that is going to feed into the studio practice. So, you know, just thinking, thinking of it in more than one aspect. If you want to be a professional artist, have a professional approach about it. Um, it's wonderful to sit there and think, tomorrow's my day, I'm going to be it, I'm going to be the next big thing. Um, what you want to do is build up your career slowly and solidly because then you will continue to have that career throughout your life. If you go too quick into things um, so that you really don't understand your art practice well, you will fail in not being able to continue to deliver that product well to the community. It's wonderful when artists can really think well about what they want to do to become a professional artist, that they understand it's a work in progress. When you look at a lot of famous artists today, some of them didn't get well known until they were in their 40s, 50s, 60s. Um, I know some artists that didn't get well known until they were in their 80s. So be patient, but be diligent, be professional, and never stop working. That's one of the most important things. Even if you're between shows and you have nothing to prepare for, stay with your art practice. You discover so much about yourself and it can take you places where you never thought you would go.